Hello and welcome to Cheese Whiz Gaming. Right here I've got Diabolic Daddy. Dark Double Daddy. My show is Diabolic Daddy. I'm Dark Double Daddy. That's my tag. That's my Google. Okay, you should make it less. So if I say my Google, well, I guess I can make it. I don't know. Uh, you said that we are going to be playing, uh, Shrek. We're going to be playing Shrek Treasure Hunt. Now, this is my personal pick for the worst game of all time. No, no news source, like, like IGN doesn't say it. Uh, it's, no one knows the its existence really, and no one says how bad it is. And once in a while I find a video on YouTube saying, Oh, you're using game, I'm just like... <laughs> It's, it's horrible. And so I'm going to let Matt play. Yeah, I do have a real name, by the way. I don't say it much. Okay, well... Okay, so it's really fun to work. So just tell us what you think. There's no way I can excuse that. Okay. You can jump, but it's practically useless. <laughs> can I do anything else? No. That's it, jumping. Jump. Yep, that's it. If only it's a jump. Oh, and that's the super jump right there. The spring. Oh, there's a spring, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. I like springs. Oh, Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you can't die. Really? It, you just jumped down there and it took you over there. Pushed you there. Holy crap, that's cool. <laughs> uh oh, there was something cool in the game. Not, not the worst game ever. <laughs> the, the, the way that you play, like, um, the controls are broken, that's why. Do we hear Mike Myers at all in this? No. What about the Mike Myers who kills people? Do we get him in the game? They probably, but no. They don't have to touch it. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Do I do anything with the money? Uh, actually, go touch me. Touch the money. He knocks it out. That's it. What? Yeah. A scarecrow. A, a scarecrow. little rabbit can knock over an ogre. Yeah. And the thing is, is that a scarecrow can use it. Not only that. But yeah, uh, I got up there. Woohoo! That's a feeling of accomplishment. In the, uh, in the movie, you can see that he's clearly taller than most humans. Um, and in Shrek 2, the game, it says that he is 8 foot, 8 feet high. 8 feet tall. So, oh, okay, I so, wait, so, oh, I can climb. No, you can't. Uh, no, that's a barrier to prevent me from climbing. It's a, it's a barrier to make it to where you have to, to go to different islands and visit places. Okay, so it's kind of a maze. I, I just... What did I hit? I didn't even hit anything. You didn't hit that rabbit. Now this, this defensive orb, it allows you to not get hurt. Oh, you see how big that pig is? It's literally like... It fits in real life. He's eight foot high. If he's eight, eight feet tall. And that pig's a high, there might have been a cage in there. Yeah, it, it, it's hard to take these hard. No. Well, it's even... Well, I guess an ogre shouldn't be able to swim. They're not really big swimmers, as I understand it. I mean, but so it's, it's not, not like swimming, it's just... It's not even like... It's not a whole bunch. But pretty much, okay. stay in this area. So I have to cut out this area first. Well, that is... You don't have to, but if you collect all the pumpkins, or you collect all the items in each area, you don't have to mini game. Each mini game is either way too easy, or so hard where the controls make it impossible for you to, to okay. beat it. I feel like an old man. I just seem to not be able to get it up there. Jeez. You got a blue pill for this ogre? Ah, oh, God! Bunny, leave me alone! God, it's way too much effort for way too little pumpkin there. Yeah, call your doctor if it just doesn't go away anymore. This game? Yeah, I... Um, oh, it's all like the rabbit. This? Wow, that's the only thing jumping here. Oh! Yeah! This makes a lot of action for sure. Oh, wait, go back. Oh, go back. <laughs> <laughs> go over here. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think there's... I think there's... Yeah, kick the guy. Yeah, there's... there's you get sprung. I'm gonna pull up tough, because I know this truck's butt's been stuck. With pumpkins, yeah! That's the sauce! Uh, I'm trying to make Hey! He's stuck in the wall! He's stuck in the wall! It's like he's caught in the mud, except for... Oh! Hey! I 
wish myself to like, What? Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's Yeah, man! Oh, my God, I was gonna shoot my butt again. <laughs> yeah! That's just, I think that's the smallest piece in the game. Guys, uh... I broke in the bridge! <laughs> they, they didn't finish this one too well, did they? Did no. I jam this baby out, like, a little too quickly there? Can I go through the weeds? That's not cool, man. Any game can do that! Oh, the um, one giving quality in this game is I can go through weeds. And then, of course, first. <laughs> yeah! Parkour Shrek! And you can't change the okay, camera either. Here's, here's the part that's really bugging me. Oh, okay. Another part that's bugging me. The camera, aside from not being able to switch, also put me in a position once you look at this bridge, it is possibly... I thought it was a trachea. Like a dried animal trachea. That was my first impression of it. You give them to your dog, if you have a dog. And then it, because of a... Oh great, I'm gonna get molested by a rabbit all the way across the bridge. The bunny wants to touch you. Do you accept? I'm at like Hefner's mansion, the bunnies touch you. Yeah. <laughs> well, and they're on Pogo's too. Yeah, you can't really see that, but yeah, they're on Pogo's. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, they're on Pogo's. Watch. I'm pretty sure they're on Pogo's. <laughs> Gotta explain all the bunny noise. Yeah. Oh wow, they are! They are. Okay, that's a cool developmental piece. It's not, because it just means that they're so bad at being bunnies that they need assistance. <laughs> so it's kind of like a, a rascal for bunnies. <laughs> There's last, I think it's last one. I'm hoping this is a, I'm hoping this is one of them. That wasn't all. Oh, no, this one I carry with me. I know, that's not great. That's a spring. What? Yeah! Fuck one, the rabbit head. Yeah! Oh, fuck one, who knew that way? Yeah, I, I, I wasted a bunch of hours just trying to make this game, and eventually I got so good at it that, uh, oh, no, there over there. Um, I got so good at it that I beat the game in an hour, and once I did that, I was like, okay, I've pushed myself to my limits, I'm done. Oh, no, Shrek! Yeah, right? yeah, one more pumpkin to get pumpkin. Oh, yeah! Since I've got Super Springs, can I jump on this? Oh, oh! Oh, there's one right there! Wait, that's the last one, I believe. Let's see. That, that, that wasn't it. Yeah, but I haven't gone this way. No, 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 I'm gonna try to turn before him and uh, try to help him. I'm not trying to help Go back to the function. Like that was like Shrem. Yeah, go, go this way, go this way. Yeah, well, no, I was looking at the graphics. What kind of system is this for? You just want it. Seriously? Oh, yeah, and the rooster. That's probably, that's, I told uh, Luke that's taller than a uh, preschooler. Or high school. Uh, it's taller than a kindergarten. Well, it's gotta be about four foot tall, so that would make it about second or third grade. Yeah, yeah. That is one big cock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this this game review was not going to be interesting without that. You know it. Put it on the wall, Shrek. Jesus Christ. And I'm unwilling. I, unbeknownst to me, I set you up for that. <laughs> I'm proud of Hey, me. look at that big cock. <laughs> oh, there's, there's one. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Oh, God yeah. damn. Damn it, leave me alone! Okay, so somewhere around here should be a spring to get up the side. Let's go back. This is kind of combo, isn't it? Okay, so that would be good with that one. Yeah, go between the toes. Isn't there a spring in the spring? I don't know. Like, that is such a focus right there, right there. Yeah, right over there. Can I change the camera? 
It's an open world where Shrek does nothing but collect items and collect more items. I'm helping the developer find some things. Well, you know, you can learn still. And of course, I'm not going to be that. Oh, parkour! Parkour! Oh! If you go back around and you run over here, you get the punk. It might be pointing this area. I don't know. That would be cool, a nice uneven number. I like how it doesn't say how many pumpkins are left. That is a really neat feature. I don't know, it says on a sign, and if you trust the sign. Oh, really? There's a sign that explains this game? Um, kind of. It explains individual levels. In the clock, it can't hurt you. That looks different. Oh, here, can I see it real quick? I just look nice. It is fun, especially when you're <laughs> supposed to be eight feet tall. Oh, there's a crocodile! It's yeah. kind of cute, I like that. We're big for crocodiles in our family. If you look at Luke and Gaming, uh, one of his crocos is on there. He's been living crocodile. This is marvelous. It's. Uh, oh, how did he go into this time frame to have that issue? <laughs> yeah, this one just seems to do it so much worse. I mean, yeah, because it just you have no attack. Yeah, you have no attack. You just no reason to do anything in this game. Um, I I can't remember the shark movies. Shark does have the ability to at least scare crap to like yell at the pig, right? So, or can burp on it, and make it nauseated to where it passed out, right? I guess something. I love them. I love, I love the rabbit on a pogo stick. Why can't I get this pumpkin? Where we go? Rabbit on a pogo stick screams Here we go. out Rascal Rabbit. Oh, you, you need to hear the music. This is like Darth Devil Daddy music. It's so drab. Hey. The funny thing is I can hear the underlying melodies and stuff. And they would be cheerful. It wasn't like the organ in the background. Well, not even that. I think what they needed to do is maybe bring that forward and like leave the organ as kind of like the backbeat, you know, because that's kind of how Renaissance music worked. And I think that's what they're shooting for. They could have like they could have more. Like upbeat. on so many things, failed. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to play a mini game. I don't know if it's it's either really super easy or really super bad. <laughs> Okay, and there's going to be no explanation as to what I have to do. Um, oh, catch you, ten worms. You have to uh, press circle at one of the screens for the controls. And why am I catching these worms? Because it gives you that item. Oh. You have to collect all the items in the game. Like, okay, you, you collect all the little items uh -huh. to play a mini game to get the one of the items on your checklist, so you can take Princess Fiona on a picnic. When a worm wriggles onto the target, press the action button to scoop it up. Okay, so circle, we'll say the controls. Okay, I guess it goes okay. There's one control. It's the X button. Uh, the people who like... Just the game. You press circle to see the controls and it starts... No, I did that. Oh, okay. Hey, I got one! I got... How about it? But this is actually one of the ones I enjoy. <laughs> However, I found out an easy way around this. Let's move a little bit, and then bam. Are you supposed to like Yeah. But well, look, so you just repeatedly smack the same spot, and you got him. The skill level is about zero. He was over there! Like the worms will repeat the locations. That's not a timer, that's just if I keep going. Yeah, yeah, one more. There's no timer. No. And all I have to do is basically oh, I guess there is. the same. Let me see how I can answer the blues. Okay. This is like the cool, the only cool thing about the game is win or lose. Oh, so you won. Okay, never mind. I, I, um, 
unfortunately Luke came in the room because I it looked like a big rainbow uh, prophylactic. Blow on that prophylactic there, ogre. Blow away. So yeah, so that's pretty much the game. You find all the scattered items in a level, or like a little chunk of level, and then you play a mini game, and then you unlock an item you don't technically see, but you assume is there, in a long list of checklist full of stuff that you need to take Princess Fiona on, on a date. And you don't even get to see the one on a date, you just say you win, just like you won the thing. Just like you won that game. So you don't get to You assume. So you're like Charlie Sheen. Really nothing. Or rather, they're gonna assume that you know you won. So we just totally score. Yeah. Oh yeah. In each, each area, you have one key to collect. Now I'm like, I'm not up the stupid. Thing. It's like, yeah. The controls are. Only let you collect. Yeah. What? Look at it. Like you're supposed to let you collect, but just come back this way. There you go. I was stuck in their solid object. So I guess at this point, when you've pretty much seen, I mean, you, you've you've missed some of the levels, but it doesn't really matter because some kind of. Can just I play the worm game again? Is that what they're saying? Is this a different game? You walked into it. Yeah, you're playing the worm game. Well, I don't have to play. At least they have that option. That's the only fun part of the game, though. Once you collect all the objects, there's nothing to find. Mm. I mean, of course, it's fun to collect the shield and hit the objects that, or creatures that take knock down or not knock down. Yeah, it's a bunny rabbit on a pogo stick. Yeah. Yeah, it's really So I got... I do I have to go back to the home area then? I am so bored. What? <laughs> do I have to go back to the home area? Uh, you just go to the next location because you found it really. Yeah, but how? There's no way to get there. I mean, I literally have to go back to the beginning of no, the area. No, on the other part of the level, there's like, either one or two entrances, or exits, which is where you want to Yeah, like over here is probably one, over here on that side is probably one. All, all these small uh, levels uh, intersect, yeah. When I was a kid and I bought this, I played it and I bought it about 30 or 40 bucks. I bought this game for a little while. Yeah, I got I it. I felt so disappointed if I spent 30 bucks on this. Oh, you better believe, I got home, I played it, I was so disappointed, I was like, this is it? This sucks! <laughs> I'm trying to think because... Yeah, you know, you're saying it's the worst, and I... One of the things is in the genre of kid games is, you know, they kind of go on a different scale. Okay, can you sit there and not move over? Oh, I'm collecting horseshoes now. Apparently there was a sign saying that, but I couldn't find it. Essentially, you're it. collecting all the things that you'd expect to find in a box of Lucky Charms and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Oh no, it's the Superman fog, look. Yeah. Oh, it's Silent Hill fog, yeah. Yeah, it's Silent Hill, of course. I actually found our copy of that, by the way. Ooh, PS1? Yeah, the PS1. The original. Awesome. Yeah, that, obviously, that, that's still in good shape. That's still one that I would... That I would uh, that one's still good. I would still, yeah, I would still want to play that, because I played it as a kid that scared me, and I had to set the controller down and like, walk away and actually try not to have nightmares at night. I'm trying to think about this thing, and, you know... Some games you look at and go, they take... Give me a moment here. The computer screen's getting bored too. Yeah. <laughs> bored the computer. So I can't climb anything. No, you can, there's one part of the game where you can jump from one object to another and collect the money, but that's pretty much the only So there's kind of a maze factor. But it's boring because the because the no attacks. Yeah. There's no action button. Yeah. There's no inventory. There's no action. Yeah, that's also something. There's no action. There's, there's no, no action. possibility. And there's also no action. Huh. What, what were your standards again? I want to make sure I'm on the same page with you here. What do you mean by standards? 
Well, you said you had five uh, criteria that you wanted to judge games off. So I want to hear what they are, and I'll go through them kind of one by one. Gameplay? Okay, well that's funky. Okay, so that's a zero. Um, I can say for honest fact, the development on this is, on? is subpar. The real problem is, not, not if you have a Shrek game, you need the voice actors. Not necessarily. Well, no, I mean, if Cars, you have Lightning McQueen talking. Well, you, have, you, you don't have him in the Spyro. Game. Which is a kids game, it's not a movie, but you still got Spyro's voice. And all of the stuff that was PS1 at the time, they still had voice actors for the more important stuff. So that's a zero on the development. Well, and my problem with the development is that it's upsetting. Well, it's, it's the level of display. I mean, they could get away with everything else because it's Shrek, because he's well beloved now. And it actually was right after the first movie. Um, I wouldn't let it go if it wasn't for the bad. Uh, Level design. What else are we looking at? We got gameplay development. Replayability is about a zero. Yeah, I, I play this once in a while just to rekindle my hatred for this game. That's literally the only reason why I play this. Um, it's not even like Superman bad though, because. Yeah, because it, like, it has charm. Bad charm, but still charm. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? Uh, two more. Uh, actually, another part of the development that was really upsetting also... Oh, we're gonna go over the swamp. Oh, that's the main swamp? This is a cool swamp. Um, about the only thing I find interesting about the development is the bunnies on pogo sticks. Yeah, I, do like I know it's, it's not really much of a thing, but it's something. Um, the size discrepancies, though. Oh, that one's huge. Go, to the other, go over here and get the cheese over there. Right. I'd be able to find it if I could find out, so I don't know, figure out where anything is on this controller. They're not the controller, but they are. Because I can't move the damn screen. Yes. Yes! You unlocked the minigame! Woo! Okay, so I unlocked the cheesy minigame. We'll play one more and then we'll end the, the video. Um... You, you pull blind mice. That sounds mean. I'm trying to think, what else have we got? Uh, was it graphics one? Yeah. Or I think it was part of development. No, um... No, graphics was one. It was, it was graphics and gameplay, I believe, or something like that. Yeah, graphics, gameplay, and there's game, gameplay, replayability, development. Um, controls. Oh yeah, the controls work. Yeah, that's a well, horrendous. Well, I have to say the X button works. They make use of the X button and the stick. That's it. You know what this and reminds it me of? Works. If you were to make a kid's game on Atari and boost the graphics, because it's a joystick and a button, yeah. Almost the entire game. You're jumping oh, equates to triangle. almost nothing. This game I feel like was, was meant to be a game for the three, triangle? Oh well they say no. Ones. And if that's what it was, that's great, but Shrek that wasn't his audience. Most of the adult uh, jokes were adult in Shrek. Yeah, yeah. And they eventually dumped it down, which is why. You know what this game really reminds me of? And it's kind of a strange correlation here, but just hang with me a moment. It reminds me of... What's the name of that movie? Oh, no, that one was based on the Hyacinth Sun book. Um, Showgirls? What? The one with the girl from Saved by the Bell? Yeah. Yeah. The review on it kind of reminds me of this because, I mean, this has Shrek. It's got all the exciting stuff of Shrek. It's got an interesting fantasy world. And it made it boring. And the review of Showgirls was, it takes nudity and makes it boring. Like, 
I mean, it's a colossal achievement, really, if you think about it. This is like Showgirls bad. It makes something interesting boring. Yeah! Like, okay. everybody, everybody loved Shrek. It made a bunch of interesting cultural references, which this game doesn't. It has great vocal acting. This game has nothing. It has great graphics. This game might... I, the thing is, that's one of the things I was trying to figure out. For the time, did this game have good graphics? You know what? No. Oh, we're finally actually... It's a second go. This is not the mini game that just fell out. This is not the mini game. Okay, so this... ...is stalling. Yeah, if you sit too long, it'll kind of lag. The game will lag at random intervals, random times. It's got mini games, which... Let's, I, I've only played redeeming. one. I've only played one, so I can't say anything. The one I played... The one that Luke played was literally, you stop on weasels. <laughs> yeah! What? You stop on weasels. Awesome. And you stop on ten of them, and Is you Is it win. the Pop Goes the Weasel? You see, it makes a lot of references to nursery rhymes. Three Blind Mice, Pop Goes the Weasel. Yeah. Of course, they're popping them like water balloons, because that's kind of disgusting. And then they just fill back up and yeah. walk around. And but, just like, you just... Oh, think, they get up again? Yeah, they get up again. And then you just well, walk, of course they do. You, you walk on top of them again. Rabbit. Okay, we're going to play this because... Yeah, and the sound effects are nice. This is the... Oh, 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 I'm hoping the mice mouse goes up in a plenty of mice. It makes a fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, they want Okay, I just did the math here real quick. One, two, three, four. So to perfectly do this. <clears throat> There's four movements. Hitting four keys each. Or is it three movements? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still a kid at heart. I love fart noises. <laughs> fart noises. <laughs> <laughs> so it's three movements, right? It's four. You're hitting four buttons. Yeah, but it means oh, like three seconds. Yeah, from here to here. So that's here. 12 buttons. 120 button presses gets you out of this game. You have to go basically do the same thing. 30, 36 button. Oh, I thought I had to get 10 mice. Three? three? Oh. Three by mice. Okay. Yeah, that, and then he blows it up and goes, win. And I says win or lose. Wow. I'm just... How did I lose that? I lost it on purpose. It's funny. Here, let me see it. Okay. I'm going to fail this Apparently, on. we have to go back and lose this. We're going to play. So, there's something funny in the game. No, it's just, it's funny to lose because it, it makes you feel bad. Like, as a kid, I felt, not only was the game not that hard and tedious and boring, but when it fa when you failed it, it was just like, yeah, you failed, the loser. <laughs> loser! Kid, you, right there. <laughs> Plus, I gotta admit, I just found, I just found out that that it makes a fart noise. I never, I just never lost the game. <laughs> so well, finding that it farts, having, awesome. having, to, you have to try these things. Because every once in a while, you want to hear that fart noise. We're gonna hear a lot of fart noises here in a moment yeah. that are not related to me for a change of pace. Um, is or it lactose intolerant? Yeah, I don't fart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the, the noises in this game are awful. Somehow they make it to where it's... If you have just a simple bing... Just, and, it's the only well done noise in the whole game is the it is. Yeah, I love this. At least this music is better than the drab 
Oh yes, now it's hard to hit. So hitting it doesn't actually hurt, it's just time. Yes, there we go, watch. Yeah. Try again. I'm thinking not. Uh, yeah, that... And you're saying the mini-games are the good part. That was possibly... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If... Mm, I'm trying to think, because I'm, you know, having had a two- to three-year-old in the house... It just no. Luke was playing Wizard One Hundred One at two. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't even effectively really speak quite yet. That's um, where the autism hit him, you know. Yeah, that uh, that's how fire cats like him. Yeah, he liked the fire cats and he liked the thunder snakes and he wanted to be called fire cat and snake. Fair enough. Um. So, what do you think of the game overall? Could, could I ask for that part of my life back? <laughs> <laughs> I was like 10 playing this game thinking, Ah! I wasted so much time! Yeah. It just fails on so many levels. I mean, at least Superman, you can have a good laugh over it. At least E... Yeah. Now, E.T. I hated worse. E.T. upset me so much. Because, you know, I, you gotta look back at that time. I was like... 11 years old maybe yeah and I was actually already decent at video games yeah and so punishing you for nothing I just kept falling in the hole over and over and over again I didn't even buy the game I just played it at a, a store yeah I was so upset and so frustrated I'm like I didn't want to play video games again for like a month yeah. I didn't realize that it was the game and not me I'm like yeah. why am I not seeing this yeah at the time I was also having some the beginnings of my vision problems and I was like starting to lose coordination and stuff so I'm like I can't even play damn video games with E.T. in them it's just yeah. like and this game though oh wow the potential is there it's there graphically speaking if you couldn't get stuck in walls and parkour over the place but and had or if you could do something with it that would help yeah, if you could, ch if you could, you could change your camera angle, but that wasn't necessarily at the time. So I'm trying to think of uh, this, this game is pretty miserable. I'm not sure if it's worse than ET because unfortunately I have such bad crap tied to ET in my own mind. But wow, yeah. Those, uh, so I have to say, is Dark Devil Daddy from Diabolic Daddy Network. Go out and get this game. You'll love it. Yes. Well, I am evil. Yeah, you Run are. with what you are, man. <laughs> so, yeah, the last question is: Does it is it a contender for the one of the worst games of all time? Yes. <laughs> yes. That was, that was pretty quick. So so damn easily yes. And just no one ever recognizes this as a bad game, and it's just mind-boggling to me that it went so far under the radar. If I had to think about it. When I was a kid, every once in a while you'd ride your bike and you'd rack your nuts. Yeah. If I could go back and be a kid and take one more nut shot not to have done this, I might have gone for it. On that note, I think that's all the information. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so with wow. that being said, Dark Devil Daddy, Cheese Whiz. It goes out for me, but that's just my thing. And this is Cheese Whiz out. Oh, yeah, it's Spread the Whiz, man. Yeah, Spread the Whiz. <laughs>